Yeah. So you basically call them generally, man by man, according to the script. Here is the scroll of every man's name thought fit through all Athens to play in our interlude before the Duke and Duchess on their wedding day at night. Uh, at first, good Peter Quince, uh, say what the play treats on, then read the names of the actors and so go to a point. Marry, sir, our play is the most lamentable comedy and most cruel death of Pyramus and Thisbe. Oh, very good piece of work, I assure you. And the merry, now good Peter Quince, call forth your actors by the scope. I'm asked to explain yourselves. <laughs> as soon as I call you, Nick Bottom the Weaver. Ready? Name one part I am for and proceed. You, Nick Bottom, are set down for Pyramus. What is Pyramus? A lover or a tyrant? A lover that kills himself most gallant for love. Oh, that will have <laughs> some tears in the true performing of it. If I do it, let the audience look to their eyes. I will move storms. I will condole in some measure. To the rest, yet my chief humour is for a tyrant. I can play Ercles rarely or a part to tear a cat to make all split. The raging rocks and shivering shocks shall break the locks of prison gates and fill us car. Shall shine from far and make and mar the foolish facts. <laughs> <laughs> this was lofty. Uh, now the end of this. But this is Ergen's fate, a tyrant's fate. A lover is more condoling. Ah. Uh. Francis Flute, the bellows vendor. Here, here, friends. Flute, you must take Thisbe on you. Why is Thisbe? A wandering knight. <laughs> It is the lady which <laughs> must love. <laughs> hey, let me not play old woman. I have a beard coming. So why, that's all one. You may wear a mask. And you may speak as small as you will. And I may hide my face. Let me play this me too. I speak in a monstrous little voice. Disney. His me. Ah, Pyramus, my lover dear, and lady dear, and this be dear. No! No, you must needs play. Pyramus! And flute, you, his be. Well, proceed. Robin Starfling, the tailor, you are the prince. Robin Starfling, you shall play Thisbe's mother. Tom Snout, the tinker. Here, Peter Quince. You must play Pyramus's father, myself, Thisbe's father. Uh, Snout, the joiner, you, the lion's part, and here I hope we have a play fitted. Have you the lion's part written? Pray thee if it be, give it me, for I am slow of study. <laughs> <laughs> Why you may do it extempore, for it is nothing but roaring. And I may hide my face, let me play the lion too. I will roar you, that it will do any man's heart good to hear it. I will roar you, and the duke will say, let him roar again, let him roar again. Aye, you should do it too terribly that you would fright the duchess and the ladies, that they would shriek, and that were enough to hang us all. That would hang us every mother's son. But no, <laughs> if that you should fright the ladies out of their wits, they would have no more discretion but to hang us. But I will, oh, no, no. I will aggravate my voice, and I will roar you as gently as any sucking dove. I will roar you and twere a nightingale. <laughs> you must needs play Pyramus, for Pyramus is a sweet-faced man, a proper man, as, as one shall see on a summer's day, a most lovely, gentleman-like man. Therefore, you must needs play Pyramus! Well, I will undertake it. <laughs> what beard were I best play in? Well, why, what you will. I will discharge it in either your straw colour beard, your orange tawny beard, your purple and grain beard, or your French crown colour beard, your perfect yellow. Mm. Some of your French crowns have no hair at all, and then you will play it barefaced. <laughs> <laughs> but, masters, here are your parts, and I am to request you, entreat you, and desire you to come them by tomorrow night, and meet me in the palace wood a mile down the town. 
There shall be rumours, for if we meet in the city, we shall be dogged with company, and our devices known. Meantime, I shall devise a bill of property, such as our play wants. I pray you, fail me not. We will meet, and there may we rehearse most obscenely and courageously. Take pains, be perfect. Adieu. Adieu, Soak. We meet. Enough. Hold our cup of strings. <laughs> <laughs>